Three, two, one. This explosion is meant to look like the real thing and what investigators find at the scene of a car bombing. This is very exciting because it's uh, one of the rare opportunities around the country where you can actually see firsthand um, the practical application of this material, the destructive force of a bomb. Twenty students from across the country are here to take this unique five-day course with Mercyhurst College. This kind of training is aimed at teaching investigators how to handle terrorism crime scenes. With what happened in New York City, the World Trade Center uh, bombing uh, or plane crash mm -hmm. in 2001, um, the recovery effort, uh, if more people had had this training, probably would have gone more smoothly. But of course, these opportunities you can't predict, and we learn case by case. Six members of the Erie Police Bomb Squad are also training in this exercise. They say pig carcasses placed in the car representing human victims make it even more realistic. We add you know, these, uh, these uh, dead animals to the vehicle. And what that does is adds another element to the investigation that normally... Uh, <clears throat> Normally you don't get in any other post-blast investigation class. Even the smallest piece of evidence like this can help paint the big picture in this type of exercise. The students mark each piece of evidence with a flag so they can piece it all together. The creator of this course, Dr. Dennis Dirkmatt of Mercyhurst College, explains that paying attention to all of this detail is key in learning how to reconstruct the crime scene. As we know with all these mass disasters and incidents, we have to be prepared ahead of time so that when it happens, we go in and do it effectively and efficiently. Jennifer Boris, WSEE Newswatch.